Hello, I am coming to you from my own country kitchen to talk about my top three uh, like ski resort scents. So a couple of things triggered the desire to make this video. Number one, I live in central Pennsylvania, almost dead center. And even though the weather might be warming up for some of you, uh, we still get plenty of snowfall as late as May. We have been known to have a frost as late as May. So I decided it is not too late to make a ski resort vibe video. But the second thing that really inspired me to make this video is the description of Ellis Brooklyn Apres. Apres means after. But there are these little uh, comments and descriptions that are like, Oh, it's like when you go to a ski lodge with your friends, but the best part is the drinks in the bar afterwards. And that's kind of true, but months before this perfume came out, I gave almost the same exact description to Poets of Berlin. And you're probably thinking, what? Poets of Berlin? That, that doesn't smell like a ski lodge. Okay, the opening does not, but the dry down does. And then I decided to throw in one other one that gave me a similar kind of feeling. Uh, you might not agree with me, but I think Replica Jazz Club can give me that ski lodge uh, log cabin out in the middle of the woods feeling. So I will explain, let's go. So I wanna talk about Poets of Berlin first because this is the one that I smelled first. I smelled this one before I got my hands on the other two. So yes, this has a very like botanical, aromatic, bright, fresh, fruity, citrusy opening. You're gonna be like, what does that have to do with Ski Lodge? But this is like the first cocktail you have with your buddies. This is like a gin, cocktail. It has, I guess it's the bamboo that's in there that's making me think of something like cucumbery. It's like Hendrix gin or Malfi gin. You know, you're, you're starting out the afternoon with like these fun, vibrant, fresh cocktails. But then the dry down of this is like so opposite of the opening. Like I don't understand how these two smells can exist in the same bottle. Towards the end, it is so woody, so warm, so cozy. Like it actually reminds me of sitting in like one of those old school, like wood paneled sunken dens with like a shag carpet. So this really gave me the experience of like going to a wood cabin with my buddies and like having drinks, but then hanging out. And then by the end of the night, when things calm down and you're inside and you've got the crackly fireplace in the corner and you're eating some like kettle corn and port wine and stuff, that is what the dry down is for me. And I got that experience way before Ellis Brooklyn Opera came out and tried to give that same description, that same ad campaign. And Poets of Berlin does take a while to get there. It does take a while to get into the sweet, woody kind of dry down. It is really lovely once you get there and it is really cozy and it's just so intriguing to me how, how it started out as like this really citrusy, fruity, bright, light, sparkly smell and then by the end it's like you're wrapped up in a blanket in the log cabin with the wind blowing outside like it is right now. <laughs> so now number two, Opre by Ellis Brooklyn. I saw the description that was going around. It's like, oh, it's like you're at a luxurious ski resort and then you're at the bar drinking with your friends afterwards. Like the best part of the ski trip is hanging out with your friends after, after snow. I don't know why it's called Opre. Opre is after, like after the snow, after whatever. But anyway, this has notes of like juniper, cardamom, saffron, a little bit of like a bourbon whiskey in there, woody, suede uh, praline, the bottom notes have like cedar, sandalwood, vanilla, and I really like the smell of juniper. I like those, you know, piney smells and stuff like that. But this, this gives me less of the vibe that they were going for. Despite the like juniper, piney kind of smells in there, this is less log cabin than Poets of Berlin, somehow. 
Uh, full disclosure, I've never actually been to a ski lodge, ski resort, I've never been skiing, but um, I have been in plenty of log cabins and I have been in plenty of cushy, cozy bars. So this starts out piney, a little bit peppery, but the one thing I don't like about this is that when it dries down, the wood, those woody notes at the bottom, almost remind me of like a rotting wood. Um, it's almost got like a little bit of like an ammonia smell to it. Like this house I'm in right now was my grandmother's house and with the house came a really old wooden china cabinet and it's kind of old and musty and there's probably some kind of residue on the wood the wood is probably like breaking down because of all the humidity during the summers and when you open the doors of that wooden china cabinet it smells weird it's got a weird 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 <laughs> smell to it and i get that same smell with this when it dries down. So there is something a little bit off-putting about the wood smell in Ellis Brooklyn Opera. It, it's almost like a like a waxy, oily, fatty. It's it's not something you expect to go with wood. So number 3, Replica Jazz Club. This I have to mention because it is so exceptional. It is filled with notes I usually hate. I am particularly sensitive to pepper, um, a lot of like spicy manly smells, tobacco, boozy smells, really like dirty kind of peppery vetivers. Um, I usually hate all of those smells. But I sprayed this on myself, even though it's marketed as a men's fragrance, I sprayed this on myself on a day that I went hiking with my husband. We discovered a park nearby and we went walking through the pine trees and there were all these little like log cabin looking buildings around the area. And it really did like give me this like fun feeling of adventure. You know, you would think jazz club is like this like cozy, boozy, lazy kind of smell, like the, the big plush velvet chairs and stuff. But when you're outside and this smell mixes with like cool, crisp winter air and all of like the wooden piney trees around you, it, this is like, this is like, wow. I'm going on an adventure. I'm going somewhere fun. Yeah, the opening is sweet, boozy, peppery, spicy. But there's something really like smooth and balanced about it. You know, there's there's not one single like note or spice that stands out in particular. There's nothing like offensive about it. It's strong, but not offensive. Even though all three fragrances are different, you know, Poets of Berlin is kind of like sweeter, more fruity. Apre is, is more like woody, rural, like trying to be log cabin. And Replica Jazz Club is, is trying to be boozy and cozy. Even though they are three separate scents, they all start out with something like kind of spunky and lively. They all start out as something like really like fresh and intriguing, you know, something that piques your interest. Poets of Berlin gives you that like, ooh, fizzy gin cocktail vibe. Opry gives you those like aromatic botanical juniper berries that you do get with gin whenever you drink gin. And Jazz Club gives you that like spicy, bright, like pink pepper, the neroli, uh, lemon. And it really does smell like when you walk into a fancy bar. When I lived in New York City, my husband and I had this favorite like speakeasy style bar that we would go to and the second you walk in you would kind of smell that like citrus zest in the air. So these all start out with like, ooh, fun, adventure, something new, and they all dry down into something cozy, comfy, woody, sweet, wood paneled living room, log cabin, you know, like wood siding stone fireplace. All three give those vibes for me, even though they're all completely different. I would say Poets of Berlin is actually kind of sweeter 
than Opre. Opre kind of dries down into something very slightly powdery, and Jazz Club, of course, dries down into something a little bit more syrupy and medicinal. I think my favorite would be Poets of Berlin. It seems slightly more versatile because it has those fruity notes, so you could wear it on like a spring day or a fall day. It does not scream winter only to me like Jazz Club and Opre do. But unfortunately, Poets of Berlin is I think the most expensive of the three, which is why I only have a tiny sample. But I think all three are worth smelling if you want that log cabin, secret getaway, ski resort, and then drinks with friends afterwards vibe. All three of them check those boxes, even though they're all different. So thanks so much for watching and I will smell you later.